Welcome back to the channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. Here is some information about me and the resources I provide for studying for actuarial exams. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University, which you can find at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you'd like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. So here's the problem. Consider a European put option on a stock index without dividends with six months to expiration and a strike price of 1000. Suppose that the nominal annual risk-free rate is 4% convertible semi-annually and that the put costs uh, 74.20 now. Put price must be the index in six months so that being long the put would produce the same profit as being short the put. Remember, long means that you buy the put, short means that you write the put. A very important thing to remember is that when you calculate profit, if the word profit shows up there, you must include the cost of interest. Also note that the effective interest rate over half a year period is 2%. The put premium is 74.20 and it's the future value of that amount after half a year is 74.20 accumulated at 2%, so approximately 75.68. This gives the six-month profit on a long put position as maximum of, um, so when you, when you own a put, means that you will exercise the put if the price is below 1,000, and um, you will sell the stock for 1,000. You will have spent uh, the, the accumulated value of 74.20. You will pay 74.20 upfront to get it, and then you will effectively, as a result, spend 75.68 if you do the calculation as of the moment of the exercise of the option. 1,000 minus 75.68 is 924.68. 32, so the net to you will be 924.32 minus S.5, which is the price of the stock at time 0.5. And your net will be negative 75.68 if the stock price is above 1000 and you don't exercise the put option. On the other hand, the six month profit on the short put position is. Well, the important thing to remember about this is that uh, between the two parties engaged in this transaction, this is a zero-sum game. So it's exactly the opposite of the previous um, value. So it's 75.68 minus uh, a maximum of 1,000 minus S.05 and 0. So it's the same thing, but with a minus sign. And, of course, the two profits are opposites. Uh, because short and long position in the same derivative security together form a zero-sum game. Um, so they can only be equal if they produce a zero profit. Two numbers that are opposites are equal if they're zero. And zero profit happens exactly when uh, S.5 is equal to uh, 924.32, which is below 1,000, so the, the, the put option will be exercised. But the gain on the put option will be completely offset uh, by the loss on the loss of gain, depending on which side of the transaction. Uh, but the gain um, to the option writer and loss uh, to the option holder um, on the cost of the option. So this is exactly the price where the amount involved in the exercise of the option is equal to the accumulated value of the cost of the option. And that's answer B. Please remember that this is copyrighted material. All uh, exercises from all exams of the Society of Actuaries or Casualty Actual Society are theirs. 
uh, they were produced with permission. This is from a study note, an exercise from a study note by the Society of Actuaries. Uh, but the solution is mine. Good luck with your studies and good luck on the test.